Yesterday, I was watching the excellent all the station videos of the posh restaurant on the train from Cardiff to Holyhead. I fancied a treat, so I booked myself a first class ticket for today and phoned Transport for Wales assisted travel line by a text relay to book the wheelchair space and ramps. The call lasted the best part of an hour. Here's the brief edited highlights. To Transport for Wales passenger assistant, how can I help? First class wheelchair space, please. Try to find the correct coach. Okay, I am doing the Gerald, that is the first class restaurant package, so definitely the first class wheelchair space with access to the restaurant car. Um, it's not actually letting me book specific seats. When I'm trying to select it, it's just telling me service is closed, and I'm unsure what that means. There's not really anything I can do. Okay. Please, can you tell me what coach for first class wheelchair space and the restaurant car? I have four coaches available. Only one of them says first class and it says Mark 3 RFM. Okay, and that has the first class wheelchair space in it? I don't know, unfortunately. I can't look at the information as the service is closed. Please find out. There's no way for me to have that information, unfortunately. Escalate it to actual transport for Wales. I could give him the number for transport for Wales. No, thank you. You are the assisted travel line. Provide access information. I don't have contact with transport for Wales. You are the assisted travel line. It is your baby to sort. I just don't have that information, unfortunately. So find it and get back to me. I, don't, I might have I can't find that information. information. It was before the 24-hour period, but it's telling me the service is closed. You are responsible for finding and providing the information. Find it or get somebody who can. I can try speak to a supervisor again. From what we can tell, there is no wheelchair space available in the first class coach. Okay, it has previously been reserved by somebody else. Or you mean there isn't one. I have been reading the DPPP and I think there may also be no disabled toilet. It is a four and a half hour journey. Um, I'm unsure it's just that there's no wheelchair space available on the system. Looking in the disabled people's protection policy, the only train that says it has a restaurant car says, quote, accessible toilet, zero. Does this mean that there are no accessible toilets? on that train. I'd assume so, but I don't have that information. But I can't travel on that train for four and a half hours if I can't use the toilet. Unfortunately, I can't help with the issue with the bathroom. Please find somebody who can, categorically, because it is tomorrow and it is a reasonable thing to expect to be able to know before I get on the train. I understand not a great situation, but there's really nothing I can do about the toilet on the train. I am not asking you to sort the toilet on the train. I am asking you to find somebody who has the actual information that can say whether or not I will be able to access A, the toilet, and B, the restaurant car on that train tomorrow. Please do so. I can put him in contact with Cardiff Central or Transport for Wales. Please do that yourself. You are the assisted travel helpline and it says that you can provide information to this. Can't find the information. So escalate it. You are the assisted travel team and I need this information. Um, I can go speak to a supervisor again. I'm unsure if we can escalate the call to them. I appreciate that you don't choose to be in this situation and it is you that gets it in the neck from people like me. The thing is, this is a journey I am attempting to make tomorrow and this sort of information is reasonable to expect to be able to get. I wish your supervisor or somebody would just speak to somebody who actually knows so I can plan my day, having already bought 
the ticket. Non-disabled people can buy a first-class ticket, expect to get on and use the loo and the restaurant. The very least I would hope for is that disabled people would be informed if this is a possibility or not. I'll do the best I can, see if I can find someone who can get that information. Okay, thank you. I hope you can empathise four and a half hours and not knowing if it will even have a toilet I can physically get in. These are essential practical details I need in order to do that journey tomorrow. I understand I'll have to put them on hold while I try and speak to someone who can help again. The information we have here, there is a toilet, but yeah. he has to stay in his wheelchair. Unfortunately, it yeah. is inaccessible. Last year, I had a similar situation. I booked first-class tickets on ScotRail, then eventually discovered that there were no first-class wheelchair spaces. I complained to the regulator, as a result of which ScotRail made sure that their website displays a warning about the lack of first-class wheelchair facilities whenever anybody buys a first-class ticket. The regulator wrote to all companies on, quote, Provision of information for passengers with wheelchairs about accommodation restrictions on certain trains. For example, that first class has no wheelchair accommodation. You should ensure that passengers using a wheelchair are not able to buy a ticket, which in practical terms they may not be able to make use of. This is in the context of restrictions in the accommodation, meaning wheelchair users would need to be able to transfer to a seat. Not all wheelchair users can do so, and they need to be made aware of such restrictions before purchasing. It's been nine months since this letter came out, so I'm wondering how I was able to buy a first-class ticket on Transport for Wales website without being warned that a train had no first-class wheelchair space or accessible toilets. So I went back to check the process. I noticed that the ticket selling process on Transport for Wales website is the same as that on ScotRail. They both clearly subcontract the train line. Yet whereas ScotRail's website was programmed to show the warning about no first-class wheelchair spaces, Transport for Wales website has no equivalent. The reason that I was missold first class train tickets is because Transport for Wales and subcontractors the train line and journey call don't bother to comply with the regulator's instructions, but more importantly, don't bother about the effect their incompetence and lack of care has upon disabled travellers.